Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, parts of New Hampshire see first snowflakes of season. Parts of the Granite State got their first taste of winter today. Snow fell in some areas up north. Cannon Mountain recorded its first official snowfall of the season, according to Greg Killer, Director of Marketing and Sales. Snow was seen at Mid Mountain and farther up, he said. Those riding the Mount Washington Cog Railway also got a glimpse of snow along the route. And Mount Washington Observatory reported the first accumulation snowfall of the season at the summit. Don't expect to see snow farther south just yet, but temperatures are expected to dip Saturday night and a frost advisory is in effect. And here is a photo of that snowfall. Take a look. As you can see, there's a photo right here. And this photo here. Very cool indeed. The first snowfall of the season. Horse trailer incident caused morning backup along Interstate 90. Three. Drivers trying to head northbound on Interstate 93 Saturday morning may have been delayed due to a crash involving a horse trailer. According to Massachusetts State Police, the pickup truck pulling the horse trailer was involved in a minor crash with a few other vehicles on the northbound side of the highway in Warburn, near the exit to Route 128 slash Interstate 95 cell. Photos from the scene showed the horse trailer removed from the truck in sitting on the highway unable to contain carry unable to continue carrying the horses police said the horses were taken off the trailer and moved to a safe location off the highway while troopers worked on the crash state police mounted came to rescue the bringing in one of their large trailers, giving the horses a trooper truffer to their destination. Police said there were no injuries to anyone or the three horses in the trailer. And let's take a look at the photo of that trailer and the horses. As you see right here is a photo of the horse trailer. And another photo right here. 
and I put up the three horses here. And we like to thank Massachusetts State Police for helping with the accident and things as well. And as you see in the Twitter page, on their Twitter page, they also helped with the horses. Congratulations to them. WMTW News 8 teaming up with the American Red Cross for Hurricane Michael Relief Telethon. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW News 8, Steve. The landing at Cape Elizabeth, living your life meaningfully in the comfort of your home. Permanent and respite stays available with award-winning quality care. Ask us about a main bridge to home respite care in an assisted living setting. Call the landing at Cape Elizabeth today. In the wake of Michael, so many Mainers are asking, how can they help those affected by the storm? WMTW News 8's Mary Kay Mayan joins us live here in the studio tonight ahead of an upcoming telethon sponsored by News 8 to benefit the American Red Cross. And Mary Kay, when does all this get up and running? Well, Steve, the telethon starts on Monday morning, but the website to donate is already up and running. And I did check just a few moments ago. They're up to $75 so far. And I did speak with the CEO of the Maine Red Cross, who says that every cent helps bring necessities like food and water to some who had just barely recovered from Hurricane Florence when Hurricane Michael hit. When disaster strikes, the Red Cross is ready to move. Maine CEO Patricia Murtaugh just returned from a part of North Carolina that was hit hard by Hurricane Florence. I can say personally that being there uh, and being able to bring a case of water to somebody who had been in their home without water and without food for a week, uh, they were incredibly grateful. While there, she saw trees on homes and part of a motel swept away and found miles down the road. As Murtaugh was leaving the Carolinas, Michael was making landfall, bringing wind speeds of over 150 miles an hour. To put it in perspective, Murtaugh compares it to last fall's windstorm here in Maine that left thousands without power for days. Think about more than doubling that wind speed. You can begin to understand the power of the storm and what it did to, um, it did to homes and property. On Monday, WMTW News 8 will be teaming up with the Red Cross to bring necessary items like clean water, food, blankets, and cleanup kits with things like bleach to help keep mold at bay. Murtaugh recalls how helpful these were in the days following Hurricane Florence. Many of the people whose homes I had been visiting had just recovered from Hurricane Matthew, and they were, they were hit by Hurricane, Hurricane Florence. So far, six Red Cross volunteers from Maine are on the ground, with more expected on the way. Many were already down south to help following Florence. As the need grows for those impacted, Murtaugh says that no donation is too small. That is critical, and every penny counts. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And Monday, the telethon will happen. President Trump calls for serve punishment if Saudi Arabia killed U.S. journalist. President Trump says the United States is going to get to the bottom of the disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi and said there will be severe punishment if Saudi Arabia is found responsible. And that did it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Good night, everyone. Bye.